Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Red Fifty Three with another exhibition match for you guys. It's going to be a match, another one with Randy against Clone. Randy and Clone on Eye of Horus, which I have only shown in the TBT tournament. It, I don't know if it's a new. I don't think it's a new map. It just hasn't really been played much before. And anyway, Randy in the north side going for Cloaky Bots, while Clone is in the south side going for Cloaky Bots. Both players going for Cloaky Bots. Clone is going for very quick Rector, while Randy is going for. Quick lay for scouting. I think Clone might be planning on... I was going for fast expansion. This map is fairly big, so I'm not surprised that Clone is going for the faster expansion. He is getting five glaze over, so he's going to go for heavy raiding afterwards. Randy, on the other hand, is expanding heavily with his commander, having quickly morphed it for light particle beam nanolathe. This is 1248, by the way, so all the name changes have happened. This is the same version as the 2v2 tournament. So what you saw there is likely to show up here as well in terms of overall metagame and although admittedly clone is going for support com as is randy actually though admittedly this size of the map i suppose they figured expansion is likely to work out anyway clone losing one of his glaze but he has three more behind it and randy getting a couple glaze for defense pretty confident in his micro apparently he only has two glaze to defending his clones four but clone on the other hand He's getting an economic advantage. Not so much in terms of energy, though. He does need to build more power plants. This Conjurer here, the new name for the Rector, the Conjurer is building up some solar collectors around here. This is, okay, yeah, this is something that I've mentioned before about Clone, but haven't actually shown Clone in a while. So, Laser Turret, or Lotus behind solar collectors. Really cool move. I try to do it myself a lot. I've not quite got it as well as he does, but... It is cool to see. It's a very nice defensive maneuver because it does put a wall in front of the Lotus, making it that much harder to kill, especially against Glaives. Anyway, Clone is trying to harass around, but mostly counter harass. There's just... <laughs> this map being the size it is means that this is actually kind of difficult to do. It's difficult for the players to really effectively counter harass just because as soon as they see that their opponent is doing something, they have to have had a Glaive already behind in order to deal with it. And Randy kills off one of Clone's Glaives, loses one of his own, and... Randy going around the back as well, trying to harass out, and Clone going the wrong way, so this Glaive is going to have a field day when it comes to harassing. It's not quite in position though, but it's going to have a field day. Actually, never mind, this Defender will stop it, so... Oh, just barely. Not quite in time for the auto agenda to kick in, so that Glaive did not have a chance. Clone has these two Glaives here, they do have a bit of a chance, they can get up here and deal some damage. Oh, I probably mentioned in the chat. Anyway, this is a... Ah, sorry about that. I forgot to advertise the game in question, the streaming in question. Anyway, Clone coming in with a bunch of Glaives. These are going to be... I mean, they're going to be forced to retreat. Too much in the way from Randy. One of Randy's Glaives does go down at the cost of one of Clone's. So at this point, the main thing over Clone right now is that he does have a lot on the map. He's... He's pushed forward quite a lot. Glaive's coming back here from Randy, however. They are going to be dealing some damage. It looks like they're going to have to come toe-to-toe -to -toe with Randy's, but... Sorry, with Clone's, but... One of them does actually manage to get behind it, and not quite able to kill the Metal Extractor in time. So, no damage dealt by Randy. A lot of metal donated. A bit of metal donated up here by Clone, but really not that much. So, at this point, Randy is... He's ahead in terms of static economy, but Clone has a better position. All he really has to do is get a good line going here, and then expand back into his territory. Because he, he sort of has this side, he doesn't really have this side, he can take it if he invests some resources into it, but the east side of the map, that he has much more confidently. Because there's glaives in the front, but the thing is that can change very quickly. These glaives are barely holding it. He's... Okay, he's getting Rocco's fairly soon. That's on his production line. Randy, on the other hand, still going pure glaive. So, Randy is... Being much more defensive, and Clone coming in for another attack. Half, about half a dozen Glaives here, trying to get rid of everything that's, well, everything that's to the northeast. And these Glaives will do some damage. They get rid of the Lotus, they'll get rid of, okay, actually the Raid, not bad. But didn't get rid of any Mexes, that's the thing. No Mexes went down, and a lot of metal was donated. Basically, that's about 400 metal was just donated right there. No real reason to do that. But, that's probably not the biggest deal. I mean, Randy's donated some, Clone's donated some. Though this one, Clone, now falling behind. He has to defend against this. Randy went for a counterattack, and that counterattack is coming to the center of the map. 
Randy going straight for where Clone has been expanding primarily. However, Clone going for Rocco's, that's not going to help him too much. Warriors won't help much either due to the size of the map. It's really hard to get them around. If they're in position, it's great. But they aren't. And these Glaives... Randy's Glaives coming in in range of that Lotus, and that's not great for them. That is hazardous to their health. And two of the front are going down. They are over getting a nice surround on Clone's Glaives and also going around the back. Very nice with that. However, only getting rid of some defenders... Really, both players, all they've really done is deal with some of the defensive structures. Which isn't bad if there's a round two, but that's the thing. You need to get a round two. You need to get more units coming in here. And at this point, that hasn't happened. However, Randy did have a couple glaives that did survive, and they are going round back. Whether it's going to work out remains to be seen. But it looks like they are, they are nicely avoiding Clone's forces. They're doing a really good job staying away from Clone's army, and... At the same time, they are... Well, they're forcing his glaives around. There's nothing that Randy's coming with follow-up. He does have some fo potential follow-up over the north. No, it's too far away. It's not even follow-up. Yeah, the glaives... Randy's glaives are doing a decent job just avoiding everything that Clone's throwing at him. But even with that, they are taking a lot of damage. Ultimately going down, but... No, actually, wow, really nice micro by Randy. He is doing a great job here with these glaives. This one looks like it's going to be cornered, but... I don't know, at this point it's hard to say. He's actually... He might survive this. He is avoiding that conflict long enough. Really keeping Clone busy. I just, I'm just i surprised follow-up hasn't come in yet. However, what has come in, this Glaive here, making that distraction pay off, dealing with that mechs, and getting a free mech skill, basically. And getting another Glaive kill with the back here. Probably going to get the Conjurer as well. That Glaive at the front, we'll see how well it does, but the Glaive at the back is still doing a great job. Randy able to get rid of Clone's Glaive. However, Randy's Glaive over to the north... Or, sorry, further west, not north. I'm tilting the camera. Further west has died, but it looks like another glaive is going to go down in the process, and with that, Randy manages to kill off five glaives at the cost of two, along with a metal extractor. Very nicely done. At the same time, Clone has gone over for a Raven build-up. Now, Randy, his commander... Randy's commander is morphing. Level 2, a lot of Nanolay, Light Particle Beam, and tons of build power base. Wow, and this is just using it to push out a ton of units. Switching over, getting a couple ticks, but basically entirely... Okay, now Rocco's and Glaives. That's good to see. He does have Rocco's and Glaives. And pushing him with the Rocco's, getting rid of these Lotuses so the Glaives have room to move through. That is very nice to see. Same time, Clone moving into the northeast with his own Rocco's. His own Rocco's and his own Glaives are coming in, but that's going to be a little bit problematic. Because these Glaives and Rocco's over the south... Okay, Glaive's coming in for Clone against Randy's Rocco's. That should work out really well. Though, given the numbers, the Rocco's might actually have a chance. Especially since this is a bit of a choke point. At the same time, Clone's Rocco's are not going to do well against Randy's Glaive's. Way too many of them. But yeah, Randy went for heavy build power. He doesn't have any caretakers in the factory. He has his commander. Now, if the Ravens come in here, get rid of that commander. That will slow down Randy's production quite a lot. Giving Clone some time to rebuild and to properly get himself in a position. However... Randy has a massive army already. And dealing with that's going to be the problem. The Glaives encounter the Rockos, and the Glaives are going to tear the Rockos to shreds, moving through the lines and just ripping them apart. No real chance for the Rockos. More Glaives coming in for Clone, and Clone's commander is in position. Still one, level 1 beam laser e cell support. Wow, old meta. But clears out a lot of the Glaives. And at the same time, though, more Glaives coming in to deal with the Rockos, and Clone... He's actually getting rid of a lot of these... Well, he's losing a lot of glaives of his own, and... Got rid of a few of... Randy's, but the thing is that... Doesn't really help too much, and it looks like... The Ravens are being used to deal with... Well, I guess they're dealing primarily the... The Conjurers here, that, that's really what they're doing. Trying to get rid of those. Some Gremlins have come up to deal with the... Ravens, and... I'm just... Surprised that a comp snipe has not been what Clone's been going for. I'm not sure if Clone is aware that that is the new meta, is... Comp snipe bases. Randy, on the other hand, has not actually gone for an air switch. Or rather, he hasn't added an air factory. He is continuing to go purely cloaky. Which does mean he's... Oh, more glaives. It does mean that he is not going to be able to get rid of the commander. Warrior final air for clone. He pretty much had to build it at this point. Though admittedly, the Rockers are going to counter that. But still, that does help get rid of the glaives. The problem is, like I said before, speed. Glaives just move way too quickly for warriors to get at them. The warriors have to be in position in advance. Now, these glaives here... They are going to kill off this Lotus. A few of them, quite a few of them die in the process. 
But they are going to take care of the southeast side. Now, the southwest side is a total naked expand, but Cologne's been able to get away with it primarily. Just Randy's been focused entirely on the southeast. However, how many ravens are there? Mike? Twelve ravens, all of them belonging to Cologne. He's not yet moving to get rid of Randy's commander. I mean, he's moving to get rid of Randy's factory, honestly. With twelve ravens? If he knew where the factory was, he could tear it apart. And these warriors finally getting rid of the glaives. These ravens getting rid of a few rockers here and there. Losing some of them to gremlins. The right positioning, the right angle, the right... If he came in the right direction, it would work really well. And also if he had some phoenixes, that would also work really well too. Because you get rid of these glaives, and that would save a lot of time. But yeah, the best direction from the looks of it would be going along the west side of the map. From there, going along the north side, and then dropping off. And now, Randy going for an air factory. Not sure if he's going to go for Hawk or Swift, or he's going to try to get... Ravens of his own. He is aware of Clone's Ravens, so he might just try to counter directly. But yeah, the center of the map is a total no man's or no fly zone. Not a no man's land, but it is a no fly zone. And these Rockos, one of them is going to go down to the Lotus, but the Lotus is going to go down. Oh, just barely not. However, that doesn't matter. The point is, Clone is really starting to fall behind. That was, well, that was an, almost a tick. <laughs> that tick went off a little bit too late on those Rockos. And at the same time, it looks like Clone is... I think he might be aware of the best path. Double check his radar. He does have no radar coverage along the west side of the map. He knows it's along the east side of the map. And he knows that he actually has cleared out the east side of the map somewhat. So he could go in that direction. But he's looking like he's going much more along the west side. And it is, in fact, Swifts. Six Swifts so far. Seven more on the production queue. So yeah, at this point, the window has kind of closed. Clone does have one shot with the Ravens. He could get rid of the factory. And there are the Phoenixes. I was waiting for those. I wasn't looking closely for those, but I was waiting for them. Three Phoenixes. One more is in the back. It's going to be the one probably actually dealing with these Glaives. But the Rockos did go down. I mean, 48 Glaives. My goodness, that's a lot of Glaives. I think that's between both sides, but primarily those 48 Glaives are Randy's. You can probably safely say 45 of them are Randy's. That... That, viewers, is production power. Actually, Randy's slightly economically behind, but his production has been superb. However, these rock, these warriors are actually in place to get rid of the glaives, and a bunch of glaives coming around the side as well to harass out. It looks like Clone is just trying to figure out which direction to go, where to attack. I mean, he doesn't have... Well, actually, no, never mind. He's decided to go for group targeting along all of these rockos, trying to get rid of all of them with the ravens. The Ravens are moving in to get rid of the Rockos at the same time. Glaive's getting stunned out by a tick for Clone in the west side of the map. Randy can get rid of all of them. Raven's coming along here to get rid of all these Rockos. Making good use of multi-targeting, or rather, area attack. But the Swifts getting pushed away by Hawks. Clone figuring out in advance the Hawks are coming in, or the Swifts are coming in. Get some Hawks to deal with them. They aren't going to do especially well, though. Swifts in large numbers do beat Hawks. Though Hawks are definitely the counter to Swifts. It's just... It's a matter of numbers, really, when it comes down to it. That being said, Randy does need to move them all back, and he did lose about half of them. And more really nice... Wow, that was really nice Phoenix usage. More nice Phoenix usage coming in. More Raven usage along the main army. So Randy losing a lot of his army just to Phoenixes. Sorry, to... Not to Phoenixes, to Ravens. But he does have Phoenixes as well, just in case he needs to. But yeah, he's... He has so many Ravens, he's just been able to tear apart the army with them. That's it. I mean, he hasn't even had to... A dozen Ravens, hardly any of them have fallen. And he's hitting the army by individually targeting... Well, okay, area attack. But still individual targeting, basically, that's going on. That's what's causing this to all happen. That is how powerful the Raven is. And Clone now switching to tanks, which is... Actually, okay, it's tanks and shield... Okay, switching to shield, I guess the tank was a mistake? I mean, honestly, vehicles or tanks wouldn't be a bad idea. So we are going to get rid of quite a few Phoenixes here. Or, or zero. Zero works too. Zero, zero is a number. I, I should have said it's going to get rid of a number of Phoenixes. That, that really would have led in a lot better. That was poor of me. I apologize. However, what I don't apologize for is this fight here because I have nothing to do with it. I'm just saying what's happening. And what's happening is Rockos are actually not in the best position to deal with them. They're in a terrible position to deal with these Warriors. Rockos are the counter to Warriors, but not if the Warriors manage to get into the Rockos' face. The Rockos, they win by range, but they don't... And by speed also, but they don't win if the Warriors get into position beforehand. And the Glaives do beat Rockos. So, nice pushback by Clone. He's... 
He lost his ender that he had taken in the beginning of the game. He also had a while ago, but he has taken an entire backside. He is setting that pretty well. The defenses aren't great on it, but Randy not harassing the side. Randy doesn't actually have as big of an army anymore. His air force is pretty good. He does have pretty solid air control. But Clone, when he had air control, did take full advantage of it to get rid of pretty much everything Randy had built. Randy going for tons and tons of Rockos, which are much more easily individually targeted by Ravens than Glaives are due to the... I mean, the fact is, you actually have about as many Rockos as you can have Glaives, but they are slower. Rockos are slower, easier to hit with the Ravens, easier to hit with the Shadows, sorry, with the Phoenixes as well, but not easier to hit when there's about two dozen Swifts in the air. All of which belong to Randy. However, the Hawks and Swifts are, looks like they're about to meet up. Some of the Swifts are coming in. No, not you. I want to target you. I want to look at you. See what's happening here. Swifts are trying to move in, but it looks like the Hawks are in position. Nice try with the Phoenixes, but the Glaives do retreat. Most of them retreat. Some of them do die. A lot of them retreat. At the same time, we do have Swifts for Randy, really showing the power of numbers. And those Hawks all have gone down. Clone has lost every last one of his Hawks. Oh, sorry. All but one. All but one of his Hawks has gone down. He's getting Swifts of his own. He has Caretakers pushed in the Air Factory, and he does have an economic advantage. He has actually had the economic advantage this entire game, and thanks to Reclaim in the center as well, that helps a ton. More Phoenixes coming around the side. Not really able to get rid of much. Actually, I gotta lower the font here. Players are building too much. Okay, so Clone has a 3,000 metal army advantage right now. It's really paying off for him, and... The only downside is the fact that he doesn't have air control. He does, however, have a decent position. The Warriors are not going to do any favors against the Rockos. Shieldbot's being used to work to get out Outlaws and Heavy Tanks, which is, like I said, is a bit more expected on a map this size, but no one went for it so far until now. So Clone going for the first time I think I've ever seen four factories be built. And a, a silencer! A silent, in a 1v1 game, someone builds a silencer. I want this game to last long enough for that thing to go off. I have never seen that happen in a 1v1 game. That someone actually gets a strategic nuke up. Tac nukes? That's one thing. But, strategic nukes? No, that, that never happens. And these war these rockers have to move back, and actually the hill looks like it's too high, it's too steep. The warriors are getting in position, and without even the outlaws nearby, it doesn't matter. The thugs actually, oh well, not enough shields to defend. However, the Avengers, sorry, the Swifts are trying to get rid of these Warriors, it's not the best job though. The Rock was able to get out of the way, but even with that, these Warriors really not not paying for their position or their range disadvantage. The position is just working in their favor. And yeah, there we go. The Warriors getting rid of more and more Rockos. Randy does not have any easy way to counter what Clone is throwing at him. And now Clone's got his Reaper up front. That will be able to get rid of the Rockos with little issue. 360 range compared to I think 450. 460. So there's a bit of a range disadvantage. There is a bit of a speed disadvantage for the Reaper. But once again, if position works out, that's a lot of damage. That's one, I think one Rocco per shot, actually. 320 and... No, never mind. One Rocco per two shots. So every time, every volley kills a Rocco. But still, with the, actually, you know, I'm a bit surprised he's going for Reapers as opposed to Banishers. He does have Banishers in the queue, but Reapers are really more anti-structure. Or anti-heavy. They aren't the best at lots of small units, which Rockos are, effectively. And that silencer is under construction. It's gonna be 10 minutes before it's done. Clone is really not focusing on that too much. He is spreading out a lot of his metal, spreading his metal across everything. He's got 200 energy. He's got at least he's gotta have at least two fusion plants here. I don't see any singularity reactors, but I do see a geo okay, Moho Geo, that's one. The rest of it's probably powered off by fusion somewhere. However, or just all his solars. Nice Phoenix shot! Oh my god, that is an awesome Phoenix shot! I'm glad I managed to see that coming because those Rockos. Actually, are those on fire? I, I don't think they're on fire. No, they aren't mostly on fire. However, they were heavily damaged. Not quite the best position. If those Phoenix shots had. If that Phoenix shot actually caused the death, that would have been even better. I'm also surprised he isn't focusing on this more. Okay, he is getting caretakers. Never mind, he is very much focusing on the silencer. He just wants to get the strategic nuke. He wants to push in that way. I mean, no one actually does have the army advantage. He can just push in. He's got double the army. He can just walk waltz in with what he has right now. He really could. Heavy Tank Factory is up for Randy. He is going for Reapers of his own, but 
Yeah, Clone could just, with everything he has now, just walk straight in. The only downside, he might be counterattacked. But then again, these these Phoenixes coming in here, dealing with the Rockos without too much issue. Even with the Swifts coming at them, it's really not that big of a deal. In fact, I think most of the Swifts... Yeah, air control is... All the Hawks pretty much belong to Clone. The Swifts are all dead. And this Reaper versus Reaper Wars, it's going to go in... Clone's favor from the looks of it. I don't see anything that's going to really work out for Randy at this point. Reaper's going to do what they can. Clone's actually retreating, interestingly enough. He is retreating the Reaper back, but that's not going to... That's not going to work out. He actually could have attacked. Like, Clone has been very timid this game. And I mean, I, I don't... I can't say I blame him. You don't really want to push forward, and you think you win, and then you push forward, and then the only army's out of position, your opponent counterattacks and beats you that way. So I can see why Clone is doing this. But yeah, he really could win at this point. He's kind of... Going a bit overboard, but hey, you know what? If we can see an, a strategic nuke in a 1v1 game, at least once, sure, why not? Because it'd be two minutes, we get a strat nuke up. Actually, it's going to be another three minutes afterwards. So five minutes. If the game lasts another five minutes, strategic nuke will come up. And it looks like there is a gremlin back here. Clone does have some knowledge of what's going on inside of Randy's base. Not a whole lot, but he does have some. And he also knows that Randy is coming in along the west along the west side of the map, yes. He is coming along there, and that is with a lot of Rockos. Those Rockos are going to be facing up against not enough Glaives to defend effectively. Hawks in tow to stop, or try to dissuade the Phoenixes from getting in. The Phoenixes will still get in. They're still going to try. A bunch of Hawks are going to distract, and while this happens, okay, more Hawks coming in in a nice position as well. While the Phoenixes go for the main attack, these Phoenixes are the ones that are really going to matter. And there they go, not quite hitting the Rockos. Unfortunately, they didn't get the attack order just right, but one of them is not going to attack. Not sure why, this base is forfeit. However, it looks like enough Ravens coming in to deal with everything, and at the same time, the Northeast, Clone is pushing really hard. This is what I mean. He, couldn't, he can win from here. This push can win the game, so I kind of doubt that he's actually going to be going for that nuke. It's another, it's another minute, or another four minutes, and that nuke will be ready, but I just doubt he's going to go for that. I mean, he's got this force. He's already broken into Randy's base. Randy is trying to do what he can to deal with it with a bunch of Ravens, but heck, the Warriors are getting rid of the Ravens. He doesn't even need dedicated anti air. The Warriors are getting rid of it. Reapers are in place to try to stop that from happening, though. And the Reapers will do what they can. And that's actually going to be fairly effective, I think. I mean, the other Reapers, the Reapers of clones, are going to be a bit of a thorn inside. But this is going to slow down the push someone getting rid of the banisher nicely done another reaper's in play and i think this push is this push is neutered however it's not like the thing is randy's got rid of the first push or on the way of getting rid of the first push it's trying at least in fact i don't know how he's gonna have a chance i in fact this may not work as well as i think it will i mean gradually the army is being destroyed and it doesn't look like any factors gonna be destroyed in the process a lot of economy was damaged though randy lost a lot of his economy clone lost a bit of his to the southwest raid but this right here is destroying most of the economy. Center map as well, more Reapers coming in. So I was about to say, round two is going to be the problem. And it looks like that's exactly what's coming in. Reaper trying to do what it can. Between the Stinger and the Commander, that Reaper's not going to have much of a chance. But another Reaper coming in here. In fact, that Reaper's not going to do too well either. So I guess the strategic, the strategic nuke does have some value. Give me another two and a half minutes or so before that's up and running. So 26 minute mark is when the strategic nuke is going to be up. Randy is not aware of this at all. He has not seen it. No chance. I don't think any time he would have seen it. At this point, Clone just setting up a reclaim. He's getting everything he can to get the reclaim in place and push the economy forward. I mean, admittedly, at this point, there's no way to push forward this. Like, this, this silo is going to be going as fast as it can. What he needs to worry about is getting more units. I mean, he needs to make sure he has the units in play. He did lose a lot of his army to that attack. He also has a Doomsday Machine because why not? Not one connected to any powered grid, though. He needs to build a pylon about here, but it's still... It's a doomsday machine, I guess. It's defense. Might as well try, but... Okay, actually, Norm pointed out in the chat that Clone has a defensive playstyle. That explains a lot, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. It's hard, especially in a map like this with so much metal. You don't know necessarily what your opponent... I mean, okay, you should scout it out. But even if you should scout it out, your opponent can build up fairly quickly. So, even if you know what they have, it may be a bit of a problem to deal with it. 
So I can't say I blame him for being defensive. You don't want, like I said, you don't want to push in and find out that you're losing your entire army just to counterattack and lose. That being said, silencer. Minute and a half left, and that's up. So minute and a half for a nuke comes in. And Mel is trying to, try to be rebuilt here. Randy is doing what he can to get rid of the, ra the Ravens, and it's not a bad job. Those Hawks are doing a good job there. Clone will be coming in with his own Ravens, and actually, sorry, with his own Hawks, but the Ravens are coming in the main base. And at this point, this is going to get rid of the Commander, I think. Getting rid of the Caretakers, that's a huge blow. Com the Commander is going to be able to rebuild those with... I mean, it's got 58 build power. Building... This is one second of construction. That's how much build power he has. These take a minute normally. Caretakers are 220 metal. They take, okay, 30 seconds. Well, 22 seconds for a commander normally. But no, Randy does throw in the towel. We do not see a nuke. The silencer does not go off. It had 60 seconds left. 60 seconds before that nuke would have gone off. But no, Randy realizes there is really no way out of this. Throws in the towel and denies us a nuke, a fancy nuke explosion. First time that ever happened in a 1v1. The only time it's actually ever happened, not the first time ever in one v one but the only time it's ever happened in a casted game. And it doesn't happen. Ah. Everyone was hoping for Shiny, Norm. Everyone, I'm sure, was hoping for Shiny. I was hoping for Shiny, I know that much. I'm sure everyone else was hoping for Shiny. But I don't think we can do Shiny. I, I don't think there's any way to actually do Shiny, because you can't control a player's units. I don't think. I can't just make shiny happen. I can't just... Can I make shiny happen? No, I can't make shiny happen. Nope, shiny's not gonna... Or maybe I can. Well, actually... I just... No, okay, shiny's not gonna happen. I thought I could break the replay to make shiny happen, but I cannot. Or at least if I can... I'm not sure how to do it offhand, so I'll have another game for you shortly. Unfortunately, not one quite as exciting as this one. Quite as much potential for Shiny. So I don't know how to do that. Like, is there a take unit? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to, unfortunately, take units. So... Sorry about that. I'm... I'm as disappointed as you are. So yeah, I'll have another game for you guys shortly. Yeah, I don't know what the cheat is. That's the thing. I do have cheating on right now, I just don't know what it is. And frankly, it's not worth finding. Oh! Ah! Aha! I got it! I got it! We have Shiny! It's a break in the replay, but it's Shiny! The game was already over anyway. But because there's no valid target, I'm just gonna blow up Clone Zone Base. Because I'm not gonna make this opportunity go to waste, damn it! Ew, what the... Anyway, that's better. And down goes Shiny. That's what I wanted to see! Why couldn't that be made to have happened in the actual game? Anyway, that is not the game. That was actually just me. But I'll have another one for you shortly, which won't have as much shiny, but will have Randy once again. Be just as Randy as the previous games. So stay tuned for that.